this tutorial, we're going to learn how to place base and wall cabinets in a floor plan using SketchUp's inference engine accurately and easily. One thing you're going to have to be aware of when doing this is the orientation of the axis in your model. Now if we look here, every time you start up SketchUp you get the, uh, the origin of the model and that's where the red, blue, and green axis uh, begin from. And as you can see right here, we have the green direction, the red direction, and going up and down the blue direction. And the way we're going to place these cabinets is locking them to each of these directions to place them just so in the floor plan. Now just a brief overview of how SketchUp's inference engine works. Let's take the most basic tool here, the line tool. If I click anywhere and start drawing a line, you see it changes color depending on the direction that I point it in. So for example, if I wanted to draw a line up and down, as you can see it turns blue. If I wanted to draw a line going in the red direction, if I hold it near the red direction it will turn red. Same thing with the green direction. And you can use the arrow keys to lock any movement or any drawn line in a particular direction. So for example, the left arrow goes with the green direction. So if I tap the left arrow, and you see now I'm moving my pencil around, but this line is staying on the green direction. Let's say I tap the right arrow, lock it to the red direction. Now as I move the pencil around, this line will only draw on the red direction. If I tap the up or down arrow, my line only stays in the blue direction. And using this technique, we can really easily place cabinets exactly where we want to in the floor plan. Now, what I typically do in a situation like this is use a technique that an installer would use in real life. Uh, I'm first going to place the base corner cabinet accurately and perfectly in that corner, much as somebody would put it in the corner and make sure that that is the most plumb and level cabinet in the kitchen, and I'm going to start building from there. So I'm going to use the Move tool, and since I've imported these uh, cabinets from the 3D warehouse, and as you can see, they're all not rotated right or at the wrong elevation, you know, we're really going to need to move these things around. First thing I'm going to do is rotate this, this cabinet. If I select the Move tool, since this is grouped, I can hold the Move tool over these plus symbols that are on the top here. If I click on it, I can rotate it. And by default, SketchUp will snap at 90 degrees. So just to double check that, if you look in the bottom right corner, you'll see that my angle is at 90 degrees. So I know this cabinet is orientated right for this wall. I'm going to click. Now I have this cabinet rotated at 90 degrees. Now, I'm going to use my arrow tool, highlight this cabinet, select my move tool, and I'm going to zoom in here and I want to grab the back corner of this cabinet that's going to touch the wall. So now I'm moving this cabinet by that point. So first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to tap the left arrow key and lock this cabinet on the green axis. So as you can see, just like it was with the pencil tool, no matter where I move the, this tool, this cabinet will only slide along the green axis. So now, if I pan over to this wall, and I just hold the, the move tool on the wall. Now this cabinet is touching this wall. I'll highlight it, select the move tool again, grab the other corner, and I'm going to tap the right arrow this time to lock this cabinet along the red axis. I'm going to touch this other wall, and now this cabinet is perfectly touching the two walls. Now lastly, it's obviously hovering up off the floor a little bit and we need to fix that. So I'm going to grab the bottom, click once, tap the up or down arrow, and click on the floor. Now I've got a perfectly placed cabinet in the corner and I can start hooking all my other cabinets to it. So now that we've got our base corner cabinet placed, this is going to make it very easy to place our last three base cabinets. So again, since these, are, these aren't rotated right, I'm going to click my Move tool, click on the plus arrow, I'm going to turn this one to zero degrees, 
And what I can do is, since I know we're hooking the face frames together, I'm going to zoom in tight to this one. And note that it's not at the right elevation, but that doesn't matter. I'm going to click on the outside corner of the face frame. Zoom right in here and hook this cabinet to that face frame. And even though it was really easy to place that corner cabinet, I don't have to do anything with inferencing axes. axes. I'll go ahead and place this one in here. Snap it right into the corner. And there we are. Three base cabinets. Plum level orientated the correct way and all done really easily. Now we're gonna do the wall cabinet. So first let's take our wall corner. I'm gonna again use the move tool, click on the pluses, get this cabinet rotated the right way. Now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna select the bottom of this cabinet and place it over here on the floor. I'm going to click on the bottom corner again, and I want the bottom of this cabinet 54 inches off of the floor. So I started with the cabinet directly on the floor. I've clicked in the bottom corner, clicked move, locked it to the blue axis by tapping the up and down arrow, and I'm going to push it up. I'm actually going to type in 54 inches. So now this cabinet is exactly 54 inches off of the floor. Now I can select the back corner, just like we did with our base corner cabinet. As you can see, it's moving along the green axis, so I'm going to tap the left arrow, touch the wall, select the other back corner. This cabinet's moving along the red axis, as you can see. So I'm going to tap the red arrow and touch this wall. And there we are. Now I've got our wall cabinet placed perfectly on the wall at the exact elevation that I need. I can go take my move tool again, clicking on the plus, spinning this cabinet around. I'm going to select my top corner of my face frame, snap it to that cabinet. And we're going to rotate this one. I'll grab the uh, outside corner of my face frame again. And snap it to that one. And there we have it. Square, plumb and level, easily placed should save you a lot of time when importing cabinets from the 3D warehouse. Mm -hmm.